Fora TV. The world is thinking. Have been uh, <laughs> quite a bit of uh, patenting of the human genome. Uh, the ACLU filed suit against Myriad Genetics. I think you were telling me before the program uh, regarding the the BRCA gene, the breast cancer gene. Um, how is this going to impact 23andMe moving forward if we have these patents that basically say you can't tell people about their own breast cancer gene, you can't tell people about their Alzheimer's gene, you can't tell them about different aspects of their own genomic map because it's already patented. Yeah, and I think that's why it's being challenged now, because now we're seeing the advent of people having access to a lot of information across all of their genes, and if, if our, I think people say it's been 20 percent of the genome has been patented now. You can see in not too far in the future when you won't be able to learn a lot about your genome because you're, you know, like a company like 23andMe, we'd have to go license every bit from all these different organizations. And a lot of them are universities. It's not all companies. A lot of universities did a land grab and, and grabbed a lot of the intellectual property that's being discovered through our tax dollars, which we also think is a little bit dubious. But, um, you know, the, the problem will be that companies like 23andMe just won't be able to afford to do all of that licensing, and we won't be able to gain access to a broad set of our information because of that. Daniel, what can we do on a public policy level to address some of these issues? Uh, so specifically the, the patenting issues, I think there are, there are a lot of questions about whether genes should ever be patented in the first place, uh, but the, the fact is they have been and now there, there are a lot of consequences to that. Is, is it okay if I, if I go back uh, to a second? Yes, please do. I, I, I think there, there are some points that, that got by us about uh, whether we're, we're still in, in such early stages of this research that patients shouldn't have access to the information because they, they can't. I guess handle the truth is the is the argument put forward by the by the medical community that that the information is just far too complicated they can't possibly deal with it. Uh, I, I wanted to bring a, a study from 1961 from the Journal of the American Medical Association uh, that did a poll of physicians uh, asking, "Do you inform your patients if they have cancer?" And 90 percent of physicians in 1961 said no, that cancer was just far too complicated. The research was far too um, too uh, early and uh, customers couldn't possibly handle this information. And you know, I'll ask Mark: Is is cancer uh, any less complex now than it was in 1961? <laughs> <laughs> that's, I don't think I don't think that's changed. <laughs> that, that's not fair. The 61, the we, it was a very paternalistic period. People had views about what information people handle. The argument here isn't that people can't understand or handle it. The geneticists can't, it, we don't understand it. The, the 23Me doesn't understand it. The geneticists, we're talking about information that's not interpretable or doesn't mean anything. And there's a difference between saying, we think it's just very complicated and saying there are often results and often tests, and especially when you're doing research, not necessarily the, the, the sorts of things that 23Me in fact doesn't offer commercially. Because that's what you're talking about is returning research results. If you have something where you can show there's a, a, a copy number variation or a SNP where we don't have a genome-wide association study validly associating it with the disease. All we know is that there's a, a, a variation. That's all we know about it. We don't know what it means. Nobody knows what it means. What does it mean to say people have a right to know this? You have a right to know that you have a, a, a deletion. Uh, that we have no idea what it means. Does, we have no idea what it's associated with. Mark, that, go ahead. That doesn't mean anything. No, but, but